Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating an app called Anchor, which is your all-in-one podcast creation app. You can create your podcast from your iPhone or Android phone with minimal effort and ease. And the great thing about this app is not only does it distribute your podcast on its own network, but it also helps you distribute it on the most popular podcasting platforms such as iTunes, Google Play, and even Spotify if you choose to do so. So it's a really great app for creating a podcast, editing it, and also distributing. So we're going to have a look at that app today. Now, I have also produced a full tutorial on how to create your own podcast using professional studio equipment, which is what you're seeing in this video right now, the Rode NT1 microphone, a professional set of headphones, a sound capture card, and also the appropriate software to really sweeten the audio and get the best results. We're not going to be covering that in this tutorial. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to that previous tutorial in the comments box below. But Anchor really isn't about that. It's more about the convenience and ease of use. The audio quality is quite sufficient these days. The microphones, provided you have them close enough to the audio source, really do give you a great quality audio input and should be more than sufficient for your average podcast. However, if you do want to use Anchor for all the other benefits, being its own distribution network and having it distribute your podcast on other networks for you, you can actually record your audio separately, do your audio editing in your favorite audio software package, and then bring it into Anchor after the fact and publish as you normally would. So there's a couple of ways you can use Anchor. It's an all-in-one solution, or you can bring in existing podcasts into the app and have it do all the distribution for you. So let's go ahead and check out some of the basic features of the Anchor app. When you open up the app, there's a big plus at the bottom of the screen, and you can tap on that to commence your first podcast. If you tap on the record option, it will by default use the microphone built into your iPhone or Android device. And if you prefer, you can attach your headset so that you get better quality audio out of the microphone, which will be closer to the voice source. So I would highly recommend that. If you're in a room with multiple people, you can place it in the center, but be aware you will probably pick up a fair amount of echo if you do it that way. So the closer you can get to the audio source, the better quality that audio recording is gonna be. Once you finish recording, you can then go ahead and edit that audio. You can cut in and out points and also split the audio in between to remove any unnecessary sounds or errors that you've made in the podcast. You can then add more recordings, have a number of different segments that you can then place together into a completed episode. Now, beyond this, you can also move over to the interludes section where you can add audio interludes before the podcast, you can add audio at the end of it, in between, and so on. And you can also add background music to each audio segment that you created. So you can really create a very professional sounding audio podcast right from within the app. And there's also some sound effects that you can play as additional audio inserts or even whilst you're recording your podcast. And if you choose to do so, now this only works when you're broadcasting your podcast within Anchor, but you can actually play songs from within Apple Music or Spotify if you connect your accounts. But keep in mind, and a warning here, that you'll have copyright issues if you do wish to distribute your podcast on other platforms such as iTunes and Spotify. So this particular feature seems to only be available within the Anchor app. And the one final feature I wanted to point out was the ability to add friends to the conversation. Now, these friends can be in the same location or even better located anywhere in the world. As long as they have access to the app, you can invite them. You can message them an invitation to your session. They'll jump into the recording and you can record them right there and then onto your podcast. So what does the sound quality actually sound like? This recording right now is coming in to the iPhone 10R microphone. It's situated around 20 centimeters away from the vocal source. And this is a good speaking position and generally an indication of how your podcast would sound using the Anchor app. And the great thing about Anchor is that it does all the hard work for you. So by using the app, you get access to not only the recording features, 
to record your podcast and edit it and create your final product, but also to publish it on the platform called Anchor, which essentially is a social media platform for podcasts. And I can see it growing further and further because it's such a good app and it's probably going to get much more traction throughout the year and beyond. But as well as this, it's also going to help you distribute your podcast and all of the other mainstream popular podcasting platforms. So this is a winner of an app. Highly recommended if you're brand new to podcasting. This is going to be the easiest way in with the least barrier to entry. And even if you're a professional, even if you're someone like me who produces podcasts using alternate editing software and professional equipment, once you've finished editing your audio, you can bring it into your iPhone or Android phone and upload it into Anchor to utilize its distribution network. So it's a great app. Really impressed with it. Hope you enjoy it too. If you've got any questions, feel free to put those in the comments box below. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.